to Ben Sushi Live. Today we're going to be doing 3D therapy using Blender 3D, but I was inspired by work of Rosie Deacon the other day uh, at Sydney Opera House. So her work is basically like uh, made of recycled materials. It's like a 3D kind of uh, montage collage of a lot of things. Uh, you can read the articles here at uh, Sydney Opera House website. Um, so basically I look at her work and I took a video actually um, her work is really stimulating a lot of colors and sometimes actually it's quite psychedelic but you can see this can potentially be like uh, inspiring for 3d creations you have to be a little bit like uh, kids uh, in order to make something like this but it's really very freeing imagine you are making something like this uh, using blender or maybe in vr and look at this uh, her work in space and especially this sculpture maybe we can create something like this in blender right but of course the difference is that this object is 3d and it's physical and using a lot of different materials <clears throat> and this is something that doesn't come free with blender unless you have like a preset library of materials uh, but for some things, you know, we can try to recreate using geometry nodes. Um, a lot of these things are really kind of procedural. That's her at work, I think. So, yeah, I I just want to do something inside Blender. So when you go inside Blender, it's kind of sad. It's only like the default cube when you start with. Of course, you can always have Suzanne and, you know, Suzanne and you can always subdivide control two, right click shade smooth and you have monkey head which is kind of cute you can hit apply um, usually I'll, I'll, I'll use remesh if I want to sculpt Suzanne and now we have something that's kind of more abstract you can turn this into koala using sculpt mode maybe and, and I'm using using grab this is just an idea to, to get you start with and you have like a monkey head and and you can turn it into a koala if you want to um, F there's actually a lot of tools in in any 3d package maybe too many tools actually if you are working using an iPad and an app like nomad sculpt you have less tool and a lo lot of things is more efficient and I think VR also is the same, the same idea. You you have less tool, but more efficient, <clears throat> and it, it it gives you ability to do something uh, more efficiently. Like, I mean, three D app actually allows you to do more, of course, professionally. But yeah, but anyway, let me save this first. This is random sculpt therapy. With the therapy you need to be you need to have like a lot of uh, confidence with the tools and the tools usually need to be really simple in in this case really like if you want i think this one is good a good example try making something like this <clears throat> in 3d um i want to show you a, like a nice trick actually so let's say we want to make like the koala we start with the default cube you can always control three you know subdivide this this could be the head to start with you can always scale so in order to scale shortcut is like s x you know s s y you know all this kind of thing but i'm trying to explain it to like the first beginner blender artist uh should have make yeah this kind of thing I mean you work with shape first and you try to get the form and you need to be familiar with the tool of course in this case I use all kind of tools you can always use the transform um, transform tool like the scale etc let's see okay the scale there's a cage that you can use maybe this is also nice But I usually use shortcut, different shortcut. 
um, like if this is like the, the koala, you want to have the nose, for example. So I'm using a lot of shortcut like S to scale. Koala is really simple in shapes. And then you can go to edit mode and then, you know, reshape the koala. The nose, I mean. And you can add the eyeballs later. Just duplicate this for the body. You know, keep it simple and cute. If you are working in VR, it's going to be slightly different and you're going to have like foxel tools and also a lot of shapes to start with. It's always like a, there's like a preset shapes uh, anyway, in some form. So anyway, this should be relaxing and easy. So you basically work with a lot of cube, right? Each one of them is still cube. It's subdivided, so it's it's more rounded. But with the cube, you can always deform and reshape it quickly. So it's really simple. Don't be afraid. Now we have multiple cube. <clears throat> I save a lot of blend, just in case I want to come back to the shapes. Um, now I will just maybe convert this into mesh so we we totally confirm the subdivisions I'm gonna join this into a single object and we can remesh it I'm gonna I remesh it into a single object so it's everything is remesh like a voxel so yeah it's not sometimes you get the you don't get the smoothness you have like this patchy but I think it's okay don't worry too much because this is just like a 3d therapy okay so the next thing I want to do is to sculpt, okay? So with the sculpt, of course, you have a lot of tools here. Uh, draw, clay, all sort of things. You can enable dynamic topology if you want to change the topology while you're, while you're sculpting. Um, this is okay, actually. Sometimes you want this. So you can make this smaller with the detail. So you, it's gonna dynamically change the detail as you paint and draw the details sometimes you actually want this um, yeah it, it's adding details as you as you go as you draw and painting so you know happy koala you can do all sort of thing. Uh, <clears throat> you can use, you can start using masking and, but the most interesting, actually, I found there's a face set and I like, I like to use this face set, but the, there's a lot of tools here, but since this is like 3D therapy, let's just use a simple one. Draw face set. Okay. This is a weird one. Okay. Definitely. Um, let's turn off dynamic topology. Yeah. Okay. You see what I did just now? It's painting, right? It's painting a face set. The tool is, of course, <laughs> give you the the ability to paint a face face set. This is not actually painting anything, but I like I really like the tool so much. Why? Because you can quickly change the radius. Okay, using the shortcut F is probably what you want. So every time you paint, it's gonna draw a new color. So I really like this. So it's almost like a, almost like rosy Deacon works. So it's a, it's making like a patch. You can go really crazy with the patch, but anyway, I think, I think every time you paint, it's just gonna make a new color. There's another. I think there's another way to override it. So if you hold control, it's actually continuing the same color that you offer. If you offer this color and then you hold the control, you can continue with that color. This tool is actually not for painting, but however, you will find this might be something that you want. 
if you ever want to make like a for example like a, like a like a plus like a plus doll and you are you are actually drawing the topology here more or less you are doing that just for now for simplicity let's just quickly paint something just try to cover all the the white areas with color if you know like a Australian art if you learned a little bit I think you will find Australian art is very colorful there's a lot of splash of color and very vibrant and it's very unusual compared to artwork from Europe for example it's a very interesting study yeah anyway it's like this <laughs> you're painting the color and you might be done with this, you know, and you just take a screenshot and send it. But you actually lost, you're gonna lose everything. There should be a tool, I don't know, there should be a tool somewhere to just export all this color. I believe it's possible using script. Now, you might be sad, okay, you, you painted like all these face sets, but you don't like it because it's all this, it has these really weird triangles. Oh, maybe you like it, but most people will probably would like to use mesh filter and relax face sets okay relax face sets will suddenly relax your face set it's really weird right it's really weird i know it's really weird method but you might like this you might like this uh method okay now from here if you want to you have all these patches and you want to act separate it apparently you can as well which is really weird extract face sets i wish there's one button that extract all the face for now i just right click assign this shortcut uh, actually uh right click and then add this to a quick favorites and it's gonna go to the queue if you tap q the quick favorites commands will stay here extract face set and then it's gonna try to extract the face set from whatever you click okay and suddenly you have a new mesh with actually with geometry nodes which is really weird oh is that is that geometry nodes no this is like a modifier all right modifier with thickness and is it vertex proof no it's actually separating that surface and you have add you can add a thickness Again, let's do this sculpt mode. Q extract face set, and then you click. You have to do this a couple of times, okay? I mean, many, many times. This is manual process. There should be a script that enable you to do this automatically. But, but since this is like a three D therapy and things gonna be tedious anyway let's just do this <laughs> manually it's, I know it's a bit crazy this could be definitely can be automated and that's definitely uh, maybe what you want but in this case we want to make like a patchy patchy looking color oops sorry there must be a shortcut for all of this so I have a lot of shortcut for if uh, for example this is in object mode I have Q and we can go to sculpt mode and then now we have Q again and then extract face set click okay so we have this you know we have the original koala and we have all these patches which is like a for like a zombie slash uh, I don't know like Frankenstein looking koala with all these different patches of shape and you can actually start from there you know like starting to give it color which is really weird way of working 
However, still, it's really cool that you are, you are able to do that. Maybe this is the, your way of working, you know? Maybe you like this method of working. So we have a strange looking koala, all with this different shape of objects that you can give color. And you can add a texture because why? Because again, with her work, this is like a real, some, some of them real fabric, some of them are clay. There's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, variation. This is just painted, right? You can use paint. This one is furry balls and this one is definitely like procedural stuff with all different materials they are real real objects based on recycled materials so you know but anyway with our with blender this is digital sculpt mode again the method okay draw face sets and this is the this is the therapy you know drawing face set it's a bit crazy why do you want to use face set for all this Again, anyway, but trust me, this is actually fun. And I wish, you will wish you have this also on the, on the iPad. You can use the iPad with a, with Blender using Wacom or iPad Sidecar. There's actually a lot of shortcut with face set, but in this case, I just paint it, you know. Painting is the therapy. Once you're done with this, you can actually be more precise with the region areas that you want to have different topology. Okay. Then again, you go to mesh filter, relax face set, and then just drag your mouse button. And now you have these patches. This represents your topology. Now just right click. Oh, actually get out of the tools Q extract face set so you get you start to understand the setup okay and all of these patches become the new object new object that you can you can adjust the thickness if you hold options and you know just adjust it like that and start to give it new material and this is the whole thing that I want to show you actually if you if you want to do a little bit more of course uh, with the color for example you want to add more painting instead of just a color you probably need to have some UV first of all just go to tab you want to edit this properly maybe convert this into real objects first now you can go to edit mode and smart uv project and you can start painting texture paint it's becoming pink because we need to add a material so this is maybe slightly more advanced i know right advanced but it's actually really not advanced at all it's just a very basic but it's also very relaxing and it's more like once you're starting to do this again and again you start to become an artist 3d artist and you you're you're free from the tools i mean the tools is, is blender but you are starting to become more confident and you can yeah you can continue doing this and you're making a real art instead of just being geeky with the tools all the time like what i'm doing this object might need to be smoothed mesh filter smooth it's a lot of tools in blender like that Again, I want to show you one more time. Hit tab F3 Smart UV Project. We always just want to automate it, 
stuff because you're if you're a, you're an artist you want to automate it, a lot of things you don't want to get too technical too much you just want to do like works like uh, you want to do the painting the painting thing is probably 3d artists use shader and notes and all these materials but if you are like you used to do like traditional art then it's a lot of things are manual and actually the manual thing is very tedious i found but also very relaxing like a therapy i don't know why maybe in the end we have to be a tedious we have to be a little bit of tedious but if you are like 3d computer artist you really want to auto automate a lot of stuff and you want to do things you want to add complex things very very quickly all the time Sometimes you say, oh, maybe it's a good idea to to actually slow down. Oh, okay, by the way, the material, the texture, everything needs to be safe. Okay, don't forget this. Okay, file, save as. It's a good idea to save it inside a folder. Save it inside a folder. And if you want to save things very quickly, I think you can pack external data sources or actually save all this material beforehand if you didn't save this you're gonna lose everything okay now we have our Frankenstein koala ah. it's not bad the lighting must you might think okay the lighting is really weird but because that's we haven't added a proper light and all those sort of things but anyway, it's, uh, this is the whole process and I might do this more often. I should do this more often. It's not like just all the technical stuff. Again, sculpt mode. Right click, actually sculpt mode and then Q, extract, face set, boom. Again, sculpt mode, right click actually Q this is the process it's a lot of fun you are basically making like a patch and it's uh, yeah thanks again to Rosie Deacon to inspire this work all right so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye